Hello everybody, this is Vinayak and welcome back to Works for Lifetime, your go-to source for cPanel tutorials and web hosting management brought to you by Voxford.com, your trusted provider for lifetime VPS, dedicated servers, managed WordPress hosting, monthly VPS plans and lifetime web hosting based on cPanel. In today's video, we will walk you through installing and using Softaculous on cPanel for one-click app installations. Softaculous is an auto-installer tool integrated into cPanel. It allows you to install over 400 web applications like WordPress, Joomla, Magento and more with just a few clicks. The primary strength of Softaculous is that it simplifies the installation and management of numerous applications including content management systems, e-commerce solutions, forums, etc. Facilitates application deployment making it easy for first-time and well-experienced operators. Some of the key features for Softaculous are one-click installation, automatic updates, extensive library, ease of access to restore and backup data, and providing environment for staging and cloning. Moving further, let's look at why we should use Softaculous with cPanel. Softaculous integrates seamlessly with cPanel, offering hosting providers and end-users efficient way to manage web application. The major benefits of Softaculous are ease of use because of the graphical interface which allows user to install and manage applications without technical expertise. Secondly, we have option for time saving because Softaculous automates tasks such as application setup, backups and update. By using Softaculous, we also gain increased security due to the automatic updates which help us minimizing the vulnerabilities. Also, Softaculous provides us with flexibility due to the support for various applications for different use cases, such as from blogs to e-commerce site. To install Softaculous on cPanel, first we will check the requirements which are needed to install it. First of all, we need a cPanel installation to be successfully completed on our VPS or dedicated server because Softaculous requires an operational cPanel setup. Next, we should have root access or a user with administrative privileges to perform the installation of Softaculous. Also, we need to make sure there is sufficient disk space for Softaculous and the installed applications. Next, we also need IN cube loaders to be enabled in our cPanel or WHM installation. To check if the IN cube is enabled, we will go to our WHM. Inside WHM, search for tweak settings. You can find it in the server configuration tab under tweak settings. Inside tweak settings, we will go to PHP and we can see IN cube is not enabled as of now. So we will check it and click on save. Once it is done, Softaculous is ready to be deployed on our cPanel. However, I would recommend you to also check for PHP extensions along with some other requirements. To do this, we will go to Easy Apache. I will search for Easy Apache. Press on it. Now, inside our Easy Apache installed configuration, we will install some PHP versions along with their extension. Once it is done, we will also install some Apache modules. I will click on Customize over here. In the PHP versions, I will choose all PHP available over here. You can notice that PHP version 7.4, PHP 7.0 are not present because this server does not have Cloud Linux right now. And Cloud Linux provides support for PHP 4.4 until the latest PHP version that is 8.4. I will install all the present PHP extensions along with PHP over here. Once we have selected the PHP versions, I will proceed further and check the PHP extensions as well. We can look for BC Math. Since BC Math is installed, we will be going ahead and looking for other PHP versions such as File Info. Since File Info is not enabled, I will move forward and click the Install toggle bar. Now, inside our additional packages, if you want, you can also enable Node.js. However, it is not recommended or it is not needed for the Softaculous installation right now. But it can come in use later. So I will install Node.js 20. Click on review button to confirm the extensions and PHP version 
we are going to install. Once the review panel is being confirmed by you, proceed and click on provision. This will start installing the extensions. Once the installation of PHP extensions is completed, we will go to the block and copy the installation script for Softaculous. I will click on the copy button. I have to use this script inside our home directory. To do this, first I will type cd forward slash home in our terminal and press enter. Now I will paste the download link and press enter. Since the install.sh file is now present in my VPS server, I will move further and make it executable by using the command chmod 755 install.sh. This will change the permission structure for our Softaculous installation file. After making the Softaculous installation file executable, we will use the installation command present in our block. I will copy it, go to the terminal, paste it and press enter. This command will start installation of Softaculous and the packages along with a license check will be performed on our server. This can take a few minutes, so I would recommend you to wait for it. Since the Softaculous has been installed on our server now, to verify the same, we will go to our WHM and inside of our root, we will scroll down to the bottom and in the plugin section, we can find Softaculous is present. This means Softaculous or the Softaculous software is now installed on our Linux server. Moving further, we will look at how to configure Softaculous for integration with CPAN. First, we will access the admin panel for Softaculous. To do this, we can use two options. The first method is simply by clicking from the plugin section on Softaculous, or you can scroll down to the bottom in the plugins and then click on Softaculous. I will click on it and we are now inside the Softaculous admin area. This panel allows us to install, manage and remove the installation of Softaculous also while having major users present on our server. First of all, I will install some plugins or scripts. I will click on general scripts. Now, if I want to enable all the scripts, I will simply click on the enable tab over here and this command will install or enable all the Softaculous based scripts present on our server. If I don't want there to be much time, if I don't want this installations to be taking much time, I can pre-download the WordPress packages along with any another CMS which are being used with Softaculous. To pre-download them, simply click on the pre-download button and click on update settings. This command will start downloading as well as enabling the Softaculous based scripts on our server. Once this is completed, we can move further for changing the branding of Softaculous in our installation. To change the branding for Softaculous, you can click on the settings option and inside of general, we can proceed further and look for the branding. You can see Softaculous is being listed over here. Instead of Softaculous, I can type Vox for lifetime. This will replace Softaculous from Vox for in our cPanel user side. Also, if I want to replace a logo, I can simply paste the logo URL over here and it will be shown to my end users. Also, you can configure mail configurations for sending notification regarding installation, removal, upgrade notifications, etc. to your users from the same integration channel of Softaculous. To do this, you have to configure your email address from email address along with the protocols and various other settings present in the Softaculous admin management area. You can also specify the time zone along with various directories such as the server default or if you want, you can also change the colors of Softaculous installation. Similarly, you can also enable or manage the backup settings for end users. If you want to enable all the backups or if you only want to disable the monthly backup, just click on it. And for auto backup, you can specify if you want the backup to be created once a day, once a week or once a month. Also, if you want to remove the previous backups after a specific number of time, which is called a rotation, backup rotation. In that case, you can simply modify the limit of auto backup rotation 
from here. Also, you can specify the maximum number of backups a user can create on your server to optimize the disk space of your servers. Now we will check how to use Softaculous on cPanel. This is a very simple and straightforward process. First of all, we need a cPanel account to be present on the same server where Softaculous is installed. I will go to the WHM interface and create an account. From here, I can use the same domain or any another domain option for creation of an account. Once you create an account, simply click on go to cPanel and we will be redirect into the cPanel user mode. Over here, we can click on the WordPress manager by Softaculous for installing CMS or content management system such as WordPress, etc. Or we can go to the bottom in the software section and click on Softaculous apps installer. Inside Softaculous app installer, I will click on the install option for WordPress. After clicking on install, we will check if all the information provided in our installation form is correct, I will choose the correct protocol along with the directory. We can also install a specific version of Softaculous on our cPanel, which can be provided to us by the Softaculous. If you don't have a SSL certificate installed on your domain, you can simply use HTTP for now. Also, you can change the site name or configure it along with having multiple websites using the same installation of Softaculous or WordPress. You can configure the admin username and password as well along with the admin email over here. Simply once you are done, you can click on install. I will just change the admin password over here. Now I will click on install. Since we had not previously downloaded the WordPress package, it would have been taking some time. Now it will check the data and the installation has been successfully completed on our cPanel. This means if I want to access the WordPress on the installation, I can do it without any hassles. Moving forward, I will show you the various features which are provided by Softaculous such as backups, etc. If I want to create a backup for my WordPress website, I will simply click on the backups and restore option and click on the manage backup location. Over here, I can choose the backup location. And if I want to create a backup, I will simply go to the WordPress manager and click on the drop down. From here, I will click the backup button and initiate a backup for my WordPress installation. I will click on backup. Since I don't want to modify any of these information, I will simply click on backup installation. The WordPress installation will be backed up on my same cPanel account present on this server. It may take some time depending on the resource usage of your server. Since a backup has been created successfully, I can click on the backup and restore button and check the backup was successfully done. Now, if I want to create a staging area or cloning area to check for changes without creating any additional implementations on the live version of my website, I will simply click on the clone or staging button. In the staging options, I will specify another URL for our website. Once it is done, we can also choose to disable the search engine visibility in order to make sure the SEO of our main or primary website does not get hurt. Once it is done, I will simply click on create staging and a staging environment will be configured for the Softaculous or WordPress installation in my cPanel account. To confirm if it is done, I will simply click on the WordPress manager and we can see there are two installations present over here. In order to optimize Softaculous, I recommend you to perform regular updates on the cPanel along with the Softaculous script. To do this, you can use the command present in our blog. I will copy it, go to the terminal, paste it and press enter. This command will update the Softaculous installation present on our server if there are any updates present to be applied. Since there were no updates which needed to be applied on our server, I will move ahead and proceed to the second stage which is monitoring of resource usage. I will recommend you to use monitoring tools for tracking disk space and resources installed applications consuming on your server. Moving further, if you receive installation errors in installing Softaculous, 
you can check the file present in the var directory for softaculous installation log. I will copy it, go to the terminal and type cat space our file address and press enter. Since there were no installation errors, no logs were created. If you are unable to install an application using softaculous, I would recommend you to verify database credentials because even if you put the wrong database password, database name or database username, you will get application not installing error. Also, you should check for permission issues in the application directory. If you see that Softaculous is missing in cPanel, I would recommend you to make sure Softaculous is enabled for the user in WHM. To check if you have enabled the Softaculous feature, click on the WHM and inside account functions, I would recommend you to click on modify an account. Inside this feature, I would recommend you to scroll to bottom and check if you have given proper privileges to the user. Also, if you cannot find the same things over here, you can look for feature manager. I will search for feature manager and inside of our feature manager, we will click on edit for the feature list and search for softaculous. Since it is already enabled over here, so the end users will be able to see if Softaculous is present on their cPanel account as well. That's it for today's guide on installing and using Softaculous on cPanel. Whether you are hosting WordPress, launching e-commerce sites or managing multiple applications, Softaculous makes it super easy for you. If this video helped, don't forget to subscribe and share it with fellow cPanel users. For step-by-step -step guides, check out our blog linked in the description. And remember, whether you need lifetime VPS, dedicated servers, Manage WordPress hosting, monthly VPS plans, or lifetime web hosting based on cPanel. Voxfor has your back. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.